Well, it's just about taking your time, giving yourself an appropriate amount of time to do the things you need to do and accomplish things that are fantastic. Tom Holland is definitely one of the best fighters in history due to his amazing acting talent. But did you know that the actor had to work harder than the other actors to become Spider-Man? Tom Holland was only seven years old when he was diagnosed with dyslexia, and he had to put so much effort into his work. But is it true that some fans started to troll the actor for his condition, and Zendaya decided to stand up for her boyfriend? We bet you'll be shocked to know the truth, so stay till the end of this video. Tom Holland is one of the best actors in Hollywood right now, and his acting talent is impossible to ignore. That is why it is almost impossible to find a moviegoer who isn't at least vaguely familiar with Tom Holland in his on-screen work. He made his debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2016's Captain America Civil War, and since then he won the hearts of millions of fans all around the world. But not only do the fans think that Tom Holland is a talented actor, but his co-star and girlfriend Zendaya also recently revealed she is amazed by the way he does his work, and explained what exactly she loves about him in a actor way. I appreciate that he loves being Spider-Man. It's a lot of pressure. You take on the role of a superhero wherever you go. To the little kid who walks by, you are Spider-Man. I think he handled that so well, and seeing him at work, even though he's not a Virgo, he is a perfectionist. Interestingly, not everyone knows that Tom Holland suffers from a disease that makes it difficult for Tom to read. We're talking about dyslexia. The actor was only seven when he was diagnosed with this disease and has mentioned it in some interviews, but but rarely speaks publicly about the learning difficulty. Well, it makes sense because who talks about something like that in front of cameras? However, many fans have commended him for learning scripts and working as a success despite his difficulties. One person commented on Reddit, That's awesome that he's not letting it get him down. I love him even more now. Another said that people shouldn't make a big deal of Tom's condition because it looks like Tom Holland is that kind of guy who doesn't really want to make it a big deal. I think the the last thing he would want is all of the Marvel fans looking at him differently or treating him differently because of his dyslexia. It is just another obstacle and Tom has clearly figured out how to climb over it in his day-to-day -day life. Not saying we shouldn't have mad respect for him, but he just doesn't seem to like the type of person who would want to make it a big deal. In one of his interviews, Tom Holland revealed that his parents had to enroll him in a private school due to his problem and even now that it's not a surprise when we hear that Tom Holland has occasionally been hounded on social media because of spelling or grammar mistakes. But most of all, he's lauded for his natural acting ability and athletic skill. Despite his problem, Tom Holland has risen into an international superstar. In his most recent interview, Tom Holland opened up a little bit about dyslexia and explained that this condition just takes more time to learn something. He also revealed his battle with dyslexia as a young kid. It's just about taking your time, Tom Holland explained. The better prepared you are for something, the more you'll be able to do and accomplish things that are fantastic. It is really nice to know that Tom Holland didn't give up and just followed his talent. When Tom's mom caught her son dancing in a reasonably coordinated way, she decided to enroll him in a dance class. And since then, his acting path has started. We did a show in White Lodge, the ballet school, and the headmaster, he spotted me and he was like, we want you to audition for Billy Elliot. Tom Holland said in an interview for the West End, theater. That's pretty much how it started. It goes through a long audition process. It took me about two, two and a half years to actually get onto the stage. In the same interview, Tom Holland explained that he really loved dancing and thanks to his extensive ballet training, he learned how to emote in different ways that aren't crying or laughing. He later told GQ, Ballet is a Latin of dance. Every piece of dance has come from ballet. To come from that background has allowed me to express myself in different ways. For instance, in the Spider-Man suit, you often can't see his face, but I find a way to convey feeling anyway. But you'd be surprised that our future Spidey was bullied because of his passion for dancing. I would do it in the school gym at lunchtimes by myself in tights, with a teacher, Tom Holland said of his dancing training in 2019 GQ interview. So you have kids looking through the windows. To a bunch of 10-year-olds who all play rugby, Tom Holland doing ballet in the gym isn't that cool. But Tom Holland 
Holland isn't the kind of guy who'll give up on his dream because a bunch of bullies. The actor went on to study drama at the esteemed Brit school. I had my rough patches, said Tom Holland, but you couldn't hit me hard enough to stop me from doing that. The actor appreciates the experience that he had at school with the bullies as they made him understand that nothing would ever stop him on his way to his dream. I, like Peter Parker, accepted I wasn't the cool kid at school and just found my group of friends and got on with it, Tom Holland added. We should also admit that his dancing and acrobatic skills were really helpful for him in the audition for MCU's Spider-Man. I always wanted to play this character, and when I found out they were recasting the role I rang up my agent, the actor told the Associated Press. They gave me two scenes and I basically did like a somersault into frame and then a somersault out of frame because I basically thought they may never see this, but if they do, I need them to know that I've got some gymnastic abilities and stuff. And every tape I sent in, I always did a little acrobatic demo to try and convince them to give me the role. You'd be surprised, but Tom Holland found out he was playing Spider-Man via Instagram. It's kind of difficult to imagine that Tom Holland figured out that he's going to be the next Spidey through there, but I was screaming in my bed scrolling through Instagram, he told The Hollywood Reporter. It had been a month since my audition, and Marvel just posted a photo saying to go to our website and find out who the next Spider-Man is. I went on the Marvel website on my computer, and there it was. The new Spider-Man is Tom Holland. I went ballistic, like absolutely nuts. So now you understand the path that Tom Holland had to go through was never easy easy, especially taking into consideration that he's dyslexic. Tom Holland isn't shy when it comes to talking about his disorder, and the British actor has discussed it multiple times with different outlets. The last time he did this was for the Marvel Quiz live stream in April 2020. He wrote down some cards so that we could show them up, Tom Holland explained, showing the card to the stream and revealing the words were backwards. What we didn't realize that is on Instagram Live, it flips it around, and I'm dyslexic, so it took me so long to write them this way. There's no way I'm going to be able to write them backwards in time, so I apologize. But there's nothing really scary about dyslexia, and Tom Holland isn't the only actor in Hollywood who lives with it. Tom Holland's father, comedian author Dominic Holland, is not fully really agree that his son is dyslexic, but he is grateful that it kind of leads Tom to find dance. Being truthful, I was never happy with the diagnosis, he continued. I've never been comfortable with saying that my son has the condition. I just believe that some kids have an issue with literacy and that these anomalies are normal and do not need labels or to be explained away by bodies of experts. Do you believe Tom Holland is dyslexic? Do you think this disorder influences his career somehow? Let us know your opinion in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. See you in the next episode. Bye.